Hello and welcome back to Lorefat Gaming Play Sparse Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefat in the Sparse Gate 3 PC walkthrough video. We're still at the Mind Flare Colony. We'll go ahead and solve its puzzle and also do another uh, fight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeon Dragon video games. Our builds, guys, are walkthroughs just like this. Last video, we entered the Mind Flare Colony, did three fights, and of course, uh, rescue Zariel's asset. And we did complete a quest too. Let's go ahead and talk about the puzzle first. Object of the puzzle is connect one of the four components from one side to the other side. Now, trick is is uh, you cannot cross paths. It has to be one set path. There's on one solution really. So my advice on this is uh, really simple. Take your time, figure out the solution and stuff. If you're in trouble, go ahead and use my timestamps on it. You want to do this puzzle because it opens up the uh, next room and there's some loot you could definitely get from it. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, set, up, set up the reset of the puzzle. Then I'm going to go ahead and start it. I will return once the puzzle is done and complete. Console glows as you approach. The mind still desperately yearning for connection. glows as you approach the mind still desperately yearning for connection The puzzle is solved, so that wasn't bad once you uh, did figure out a few paths. Okay, we got ourselves a long sword, so if you need a, uh, I think it's a plus two long sword, then uh, go ahead and pick it up. Open the room up and then pick it up, and after that, check out this relief. There's some nice uh, lore to it, so let's go ahead and inspect it. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design, order, perfection, unity, every plane, as one, every being in their place. That loss blooms into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Taken. Corrupted. Gone. And just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all illithids. Oh my uh, goodness, yeah, that was the history of the Mind Flare Empire. Pretty scary stuff. I advise now at this point before going to the barracks and possibly the last set of rooms is to explore everywhere, check everything. I do mean it because let's be honest, you're not going to come back here. Yeah, in fact, after you defeat the boss of Act 2, nope, you're not going to come back here at all. So I'm going to go ahead and jump there. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look like I am protected from death. Oh, yeah, I see why. 
Yeah, Shadow Heart has this uh, circlet on. I did it on purpose, so uh, this way the party, you know, I mean, to get some damage reduction. And that worked out greatly. Oh, wow, wow, these are different mines. So let me uh, go ahead and grab that and uh, more. Still, this is a good place to explore. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow, these things are uh, weighing me down. I will have to uh, go off screen after all this is said and done and uh, loot everything in uh, sight. Oh, wow, I'm exploring some lot of stuff. I already got myself a nice... Uh, Longsword, that's uh, good. That's how I feel about it. I got some dice too. And uh, more. Oh, I got arrows. I have to start giving that, of course, to Asteron. Yeah, you see our rogue? Yeah, he's our sharpshooter of the party. And I might have to start, of course, uh, using more of this too. Let's go ahead and uh, put the raw steak in the camp. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be feeding the uh, our little uh, friend here, the uh, bugbear cub. And that's some more uh, data and more. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that. Uh, yeah, by the way, there's an eye patch is moles, so definitely uh, go ahead and pick that up. Uh, try not to sell it. That's the one thing I advise. Yeah, when we get that, it'll give us another uh, clue. However, we got the uh, clue that says if mole wasn't here at all, and mole did escape, which is good. An eye patch? Wonder who it belongs to. Or belonged to. Now, uh, that was uh, very good, so it's, uh, good news is uh, it looked like Mole uh, didn't make it. Yeah, I went to the uh, Tadpole uh, Center, and it basically said Mole was in there, so I have a feeling that Mole did get out. Our little tiefling friend resisted capture, kicked some butt, maybe, uh, you know, kicked someone in the nuts or something like that, and Mole just said, screw this, I'm out of here. That's what my uh, theory is anyways. And, yeah, come on, Karak, you gotta jump. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sometimes pathing can be like that. That's my only slight disappointment, but the rest of the game is really fun so far. I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, rest of this uh, area, going back to the morgue, too. Yeah, I always like to sometimes double-check dungeons in case uh, I'm not going to come back to it. Yeah, there's other uh, areas in the, I should say, the uh, Baldur's Gate series 1 and 2. Oh, especially 2. There's some areas that's permanent. You know, once you explore it, that is it. You cannot come back at all. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, there's a ball. Yeah. If I needed some layer of armor and extra cash, I should have grabbed all that, but oh well. Oh, I almost forgot this way. Oh, by the way, uh, this part is really uh, sick. I'm going to just go ahead and show you anyways. You interact with that, only one course will appear. And no, you can't go the other way. That's from the uh, prison. Should have went through that way, but oh well. Ooh, that is that must be someone must have failed. Yeah, must be a pilgrim. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, yeah, everything else is useless. Let's try that again. Nope. Okay, it's just one corpse. That's it. Ah, I wish there was more. So, yeah, we can't get to there at all, like I said before. That's the uh, prison. We'll get to the Pell Alpha eventually. Uh, right now, uh, hopefully, Asteron is still safe at camp. So, let's go uh, this direction and uh, just keep on going at this point. We'll do some exploring once we arrive at the bar uh, barracks. I'm going to go ahead and explain on uh, the next uh, fight. I should say the last fight for this uh, area before the boss fight. There's uh, three ones you're kind of forcing to fight. Well, actually, uh, the uh, third one's optional. There's also the one I did that's totally optional. I had to put him out of his misery via combat. Still, I, I, I advise you're uh, doing three of the four fights, depending on your uh, certain class setup, or uh, do all four like I uh, did. Well, I'm going to be doing the last one in this video, too. I'm just double checking to make sure I could get to certain places I can, other places I cannot. Just uh, covering ground before uh, moving on. Like I say, you're not going to come back here. I always will repeat that. Okay, some people will say, wait a second, I missed out on an item. Yeah, like for example, there's a nice ring at the Gauntlet Shard. If you did not uh, loot the, uh, I should say, uh, ring on the ground after the same self-trial, you're going to be missing out on a wonderful melee DPS ring. That's why I say, yeah, make sure you check everything, loot everything up before you leave. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, we already got the uh, tadpole stuff. I must have grabbed it when I interacted with it from the last time. Yeah, okay, nothing there. And, uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep on uh, going. Oh, man. This place is seriously uh, messed up. So our only uh, way to go at this point after reading this uh, book is the uh, barracks. That's uh, one of the two last areas we're going to do. Before getting to the uh, boss fight arena. Alright, there we go. It's just a skeleton that looks all good. 
So let's go ahead and uh, forward uh, progress in uh, this direction, and that should be the uh, barracks. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, uh, as soon as we uh, get caught, we're going to face off against this uh, foe. Yeah, Cressa, she is uh, uh, easy. Just uh, make sure you interrupt her magic or take her out fast after that. The rest of them will uh, fall into place. Not bad of a fight. Very uh, simple uh, to do. So I'm going to go ahead and after I loot some things up, I'm going to get caught big time and slaughter them all after that. You know, I always say it's time to do some looting rights. But first, let's go ahead and get in a battle. General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. Blood follows me everywhere. This is my time. Making my move. is my happy place. Now, that was not bad of a fight at all. Yeah, just uh, crest up. She was annoying. Rest was not. So let's uh, go ahead and heal up my uh, main character. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that at this uh, point in uh, time. Okay, let's see here. Let's loot this up. All right, they got the frail of the absolute. That's some uh, good stuff to us. So I'm sending all this to camp anyways. Anyways, for this part of the video, it's called looting rights. Yeah, once again. Okay, let's just say another one of those. Uh, more of those uh, wine too. Let's grab that and uh, grab some uh, jade as well. Yeah, thanks for the free loot. Seriously, thank you so much. Same thing with your uh, ads too. Yeah, thanks for uh, that. There you go. We're all set and uh, done. Let's see here for a moment. We'll check this out. Okay, nothing there. Let's check this one out too. All right, we're getting some uh, good stuff. I'm going to have to uh, most likely uh, get to our next destination and sell all of it. Hopefully, it is uh, Bar's Gate. Like I said before, I noticed that uh, Road to Bar's Gate, that might be the next location. Unfortunately, uh, that army is blocking the way. So let's uh, go uh, this way. Let's see here. Okay, what is uh, that? Baby blue and gold dye. Kind of wish it was black and red. You know, for chaos, everyone. Oh, that's a Warhammer uh, 40k reference, especially from the Dawn of War games. Still, let's loot everything up. All right, let's see what's inside. Ooh, 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 I need that. Ooh, I definitely need that big time. Casual sandals will send that to camp. Uh, yeah, I might have to do a multiple uh, trip to the camp to sell some things. Uh, seriously, I am really loaded at this uh, point in time. Uh, that is a nice uh, book. Oh, that is uh, good. 
Hopefully I do find a book about the uh, little bit of events of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Or at least leave some of the locations. I would love to read more of those. Big time. So let's see here for a second. Okay. I missed this one. Ooh, that is good. Bronze ring. Ooh, I am loving this looting. Let's see. Okay. Cress's notes. Oh, that's some more uh, things. That's an interesting read. If I find any evidence, I'll uh, definitely pick it up. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Cress's room is really creepy, everyone. I'm just saying myself. All right, we're uh, almost, I believe we're uh, done with the uh, bar uh, barracks. So our uh, next uh, look. Oh, wait, I missed this room. The uh, last creepy room. After I uh, go through the last creepy room, it's time to get to the last part before the uh, boss fight arena. You heard me right. I believe I am almost uh, done at this point in time. At this point, yeah, it's a trip to the uh, boss fight room to uh, officially uh, get to the boss of Act 2. So let's go on uh, this way. So we're about to go to the last part. If you need it to uh, do anything now in this uh, Mind Flare colony, do so. There is a nice rest area up ahead. I'm going to just make sure I'm going to get to the connecting rooms. I want to make sure, uh, of course, I did explore everywhere. Except for the one that's the only room to the prison colony. I, now I realize hindsight, I should explore that. I was being too careful. Like I said, I was infiltrating the tower first. I didn't want to, you know, get caught of uh, you know, going places I shouldn't have. Yeah, I was being real careful. And that paid off well in my eyes. Now, uh, coming up up ahead, there should be a uh, resting advice. Make a save here. I am serious. Once you're done uh, getting to the resting device and looting this room up some, get there. Oh, man. This is one creepy place. Yeah, I love the changes to the uh, Mind Flare race, some of them. I think it was uh, started at 4.0. I know 3.0 was uh, a little bit similar to uh, 2.0. A little bit redefined, though, thanks to the Hordes of the Underdark. Yeah, my players are fun to kill there. Uh, some people uh, didn't kill them and said, oh, we just gave them the plans. I'm just looking right now what's heavy I could just get rid of. Yeah, I'll keep that for now, but I will eventually get rid of that. Oh, wow. There's some heavy. Oh, wow. I did not know 26 Thieves tools and some water can uh, weigh me down. I might have to eventually uh, lessen the load. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the rest thing. I'll explain what's going on definitely next. First, you want this uh, blue-like thing. That's like an inn or a long rest. Yeah, you heard me right. Exactly a long rest. So uh, here's the deal. As soon as we uh, make a save off screen, I'm going to go on down. There will be a lot of things happening. I am not spoiling what is happening, but at this point... Make sure you explore everything. This is another point of no return. Once you go on down, that is it. You're locked into the uh, boss fight arena after the uh, cutscene. And the cutscene is uh, wonderful at this point. So, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go on down. So, sit back, enjoy the ride, and enjoy the uh, cutscene then. Presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The absolute is behind this door.
You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Thor! One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Odeling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Shit, no! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And, Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! Oh my goodness, I'm getting some inspirational uh, points. Looks like I had to kill Cave Johnson. I mean, Ketrick Thorn first, and after that, Colonel Tavington. That's uh, Gorash. I don't know if that's second or third, or Orin, or I should say the uh, one uh, lay who voiced the uh, big giant vampire from the Resident Evil series, the latest game. Yeah, I have to play that, but still. I don't know about 2 and 3, but I know Ketrick Thorm, he has to uh, die. Okay, looks like some uh, quests are uh, complete. That is uh, very good at this point. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring uh, Gail with me while I didn't have enough room for the party. And that's probably going to be towards the end of the game. I will uh, definitely bring him with me on uh, this. That'll be like the last thing I'll uh, do for him. So anyways, uh, 
I'm not going to do the boss fight. That's going to be for the next video since it's by itself. Those three, yeah, that's like the dead three brothers, but still, that's amazing. Anyway, here's a recap for this video. Now, uh, first thing I did was I solved the Mind Flayer Colony puzzle. After that, did some looting and scouting of anything I missed. Uh, did get in the fight at the barracks, got some more uh, loot after that. Rested up. Yeah, I did get a full rest out of that. Went on down, see a cutscene. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, Kectric Thorm, he's going to die. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough, Mind Flayer Colony puzzle, and uh, Cressa Bone Daughter fight video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.